attempt to do so. But it can. Uh, it'd be cool to see something like that to make it actually change the bed color. Or your bed style. Let me shake that on the way. This is just free time. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, if, if there's anything else you guys want to know, by all means, leave me a message and I'll, I'll answer it in a video or answer it directly to you. Um, I do enjoy talking to most people that I play with, so it's not like it's a thing like I'm stringing you guys around. I, I hate all of you or anything like that. It's, it's an actual love. It's a mutual respect. Mutual respect. Um, if you guys do actually would like to game with me, I have no problem. Uh, just find me online, send me an invite, and I'll more than likely come and hang out. Um, there's no guarantee that I will, so if I don't, don't get mad. Uh, I usually don't add people to my friends list who uh, aren't of age, shall we say, because uh, I uh, my game a lot. <laughs> I tend to curse and usually everyone else that I play with does the same, so I don't want it to be a situation where I'm the only person who is, and it's, you know, one people I'm the only person who is too, and I feel like kids, I don't want to like think you guys like that, even though kids nowadays, people are using their own, a lot more stuff than we do. Uh, I say we, because I don't know what people do. I see, I sound, I sound and seem like an older person, I get that a lot, but um, I'm not that old, I'm actually 21, yeah, so it's not all that old I guess, unless you're one of those people that think like 30s, ancient, I mean, in which case I'm super old, I'm from like We'll see. We'll see. Let's uh, let's hope for the best. Aha! I didn't die. Yeah, but there didn't die either because it's raining still. Oh wait, no. There it goes. Die, loser. <coughs> Why did I do that? Burn. Haha. <laughs> That's a win for me. Time to get the marshmallows and roast me something. Um, so yeah, let's talk about random things. Random things, um, this egg thing with the chickens, that's pretty random. They lay eggs. What's even more random is how often you actually get a chicken in one of those. I, I was, I was looking at, I actually looked it up because I was bored and I was like, man, what can you do with eggs? Because I assumed, hey, it's an egg, you can cook it. But oh nay nay you actually can't and uh, apparently you can uh, it, one out of every I think it was like three three or four chances of fleeing a chicken egg gives you a chicken which I guess hey that's that's pretty normal like, I, I mean 
They're going with odds here. Odds are you're not always going to get a chicken out of an egg. It's a little weird. It's a little odd. Um, I remember a friend of mine actually asked me what was the point of Minecraft, and I just sat there and laughed at him. I was like, you silly. Minecraft doesn't have a point. It is what it is. Hate to be destroying all this, but hey. So I want to hear what uh, what people are excited for, what, what games that are coming up really get people going, because um, I just recently got uh, Gears of War 3. Um, big Gears fan, uh, I always liked the game, had an interesting set of, just the gameplay in general was, uh, it was different, so it was really cool, it, it broke up the monotony of Call of Duty and Battlefield and stuff, um, but it, uh, it left me like wanting more, I guess you could say. It didn't really, uh... It didn't really, um... Felt like there was stuff missing. Let's see if I can get this. Wow, yeah, got it. Uh, but they really, they, they really addressed that in this, uh, this newest game. Which I think they did a, a fabulous job on. They they really broke out of what it was and what it could have been, entered into something really good. I think what I'm going to do is extend this and connect the. Uh, the foundry area with the with my house that way if I need to smell something I could just walk outside and there's probably another cave So what I'm going to do is connect all this. Um, but yeah, games that people are excited for. I mean, I'm excited for uh, Battlefield 3. Uh, I'm still iffy if I'm going to get it on the uh, on the PC or Xbox because um, uh, the, the the issues that always come up with Battlefield 3 and stuff like that is the fact that it's a it's a large uh, it's a large lobby game type. <coughs> like you don't have um... What is that? Uh, you don't... You don't have uh... These small lobbies, I mean... What is it? Well, our 32 on 32, so 64 man lobby is pretty big and... Although console games now, or consoles can handle that... For the most part, it's still really, it's only really useful or I guess you could say helpful to have that in a, uh, in, in a PC setting because what I think or what I've seen is that console gamers, we're really, we're about the smaller end of stuff. So, I mean, if you think of like Call of Duty, um, 
What is six v six is more than enough for us. That is plenty. As to where, uh, for some people, that is not a big enough number. I guess you people assume they think that it's. Okay. That, uh. Oh, wow. There's a big area back here. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of people that feel that, uh. 6v6 is too small. Like, it doesn't give you a really immersive game. Uh. I tend to disagree. I think 6v6 is just enough to where you can feel like. You're, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're finding enough people, and, uh, you're not having to work too hard to find them. The other thing that I see that people have a, a thing with Battlefield is, like, everyone compares, like, uh, old school Call of Duty players like me, they're like, oh, well, you really need bigger maps and everything, I mean... For example, look at a battlefield. And I mean, that's that's not a bad argument. It's good to have bigger maps. But the issue that I always bring is you have to look at it like this. Battlefield has large maps because there's a ton of people. If you don't really have that many people, you don't really need that big of a map. It's 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 wasted space basically if you if you're not using the map to the fullest. If you're not actually doing anything with the map, then having a huge map on like a battlefield scale is, is pretty much wasting it. You only need an actual small amount of space to do all that you need because uh, if you look at some of the Call of Duty maps like uh, see um but uh, some of the newer ones like uh run not run, run down um man i'm bad with these maps uh what is it on black ops the snow map i know people are gonna uh, be like it's this come on how could you not know um I can't remember. It's this kind of map. The one with the that's the oil pipeline thing. No. Uh, that's a pretty big map. Like, everyone knocks it and they say, you know, it's a really small map. Get out of here, cow. No. Um but I if you actually look at it, it's pretty big. The difference between that I've noticed between Battlefield and uh, Call of Duty is Battlefield will actually make their maps large. But they won't. Uh, they won't um, make a whole lot of uh, cover. A lot of their maps are more wide open. Whereas Call of Duty, they uh, they're big on giving people a lot of cover, which isn't bad, but. Um, it kind of slows down the game. Everyone always says that, you know, people who camp slow down the game. But I actually feel that the reason people camp is because they have more of an opportunity to. Um, if you give someone a house that they can run into and hide in, they're going to hide in the house. I mean, come on. This isn't rocket science here. Okay, gotta go. Um, yeah, this isn't super crazy, Matt. If you give me a house to hide in, and I don't, I'm not the type of person to go out and run and gun, or I'm not the type of person to um, openly put myself in dangerous situations, yeah, I'm gonna hide in the house. 
so I think it uh, sometimes the developers, in a way, in trying to appease everyone, they actually, in in one way or another, slow down the game. Which is not, it's not a horrible thing, if you think about it, like, uh, they're not brutally slow, it's not like one of those things of, oh my god, it's so slow that I can't play, it's more of a thing of, you kind of just change the way it has to be played. You can't play it like a, uh, like a standard, uh, a standard game, because most people, um, most of the time Call of Duty players are broken up into two categories and this is from my experience like I said I'm not I'm not saying this is the definitive law you know this is Judge Dredd I'm not the law um three high one two three four yeah okay um you have the people who you have the people who like to run and gun, or they're more of the rusher type that just kind of go after it no matter what's going on. And then you kind of got the people who just like to, uh, they, they sit back and play tactically. Like they'll, uh, I don't want to say they can't, but they'll set up in an area that they know is high traffic, but once they get a couple kills and they see that, uh, you know, that they realize that people probably know where they are, they'll move. I am uh, somewhere in the middle, I would say, to where I will definitely set up in an area that has high traffic because I know people will come by there. But then again, if, if I know that people know where I am, I have no problem booking it. I will completely abandon that area. And I think that's that's the issue that people have is that they feel that um, like they have to completely change their play style in order to uh, to play certain games like Call of Duty or Battlefield. Like they feel like, oh man, this is Battlefield, so I gotta start playing like this or like that. And it, it's it's not true. You can you can adapt your playstyle to either game it's just you have to be mindful of the fact that you know in Battlefield it's a bigger map but there's a lot more people or in Call of Duty you kinda got you kinda gotta watch out for people who are camping and it's just a it's a necessary uh, it's a necessary evil I guess that you could say because it's something that has to be because <clears throat> when you when you're thinking about game developing, you have to understand. Although they are trying to make the game for everyone, they realize they can't. They realize that at some point they are making the game for certain people, and some people are going to hate them. <coughs> some people are going to get really mad that something is set up a certain way, and other people are going to be like, "Yep, whatever, I can handle it." And the people who get most offended are, no. I would say, the the hardcore gamer or the person who's been playing no. that particular game or that series of games for a while. And I say that because if you think about it, now more than ever, uh, oh shit, what am I doing? Um, now more than ever, games are getting geared toward what's called like the casual gamer so the person who every once in a while throws on their xbox and goes yeah i'll play a game or two and we've we're starting to lose the people who are the more hardcore gamers or and, and actually, I don't think we're losing them. I think what it is is they're evolving. And they're getting to this point where they realize that you don't have to be super hardcore in order to enjoy the game. 
Like you can kind of take it easy and still have fun with it. But everyone's still in it to win. So it's the, you never really stop being a hardcore or a, a pretty serious player just because you don't have to try as hard anymore. And uh, that's actually another thing that I want to get into. This mentality or thought that a quote unquote try hard is a bad thing. Uh, Think about it like this. Everybody at some point is a tryhard. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, you're a tryhard. Uh, if you don't believe me, look at uh, look at commentators. That's a perfect example. If a commentator doesn't do well at a certain thing, he completely gets bad. I mean, people hate on him forever and a day. Just because he didn't do something right or... He did something differently than somebody else would have done it. Now, if it was a regular person playing a, let's say, oh, I don't know, a 21 and 7 game, so a 3KD, would be pretty awesome game they'd be like yeah dude that that was pretty good I like that that was that was an awesome setup but the thing is for a commentator because that's their bread and butter you know that's all they can do 21 and 7 is a good game but it's not as good as let's say a 21 and 3 so flip those numbers around. Instead of having a 3KD, have a 7KD. Because that makes them look that much better. So you have to you have to look at it from both angles. And I know this, this whole commentary seems like it's just gone everywhere. And it really is. That's how, uh, that's how I think. I, I can't process everything like everyone else. I'm not that cool. Um... Why did I make that out of blocks? Uh, but yeah, so it's like, you have to think about it in the sense of games are geared towards everyone. Uh, so they, there has to be that happy medium, and every game developer is always looking for that happy medium, but it just doesn't work out. It, it it's, it's hard to make a game for the casual person that just wants to sit down on the weekends and play a fun game and not be bothered or anything like that and the the more hardcore gamer who plays every night you know what I mean it's 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 hard to, to balance those two out because in the end it's we're looking for two different goals you know, it, on one end, the hardcore gamer is looking for a uh, a really solid game that they can get behind, and the more casual person is just looking for a game, something that they can play every once in a while. They don't have to try super hard to you know to be good at but they can still have fun with and you know every once in a while talk trash to their buddies and go hey I beat you by this much look at how great I am and it's hard to get that uh, excuse me it's hard to get that that balance <laughs> but anyways let's see next topic um, uh... I am bad at topics. I am not even going to lie. Uh, actually, let's make a chest. That's a good thing to have. Um, so let's see. We talked about games that I'm excited for, at least. Not necessarily that you guys are excited for. But I'm excited for. Um, uh, I don't know. That's, uh, I'm actually at a loss. I have no idea what to write about. Or talk about.
Uh, I guess I can continue on with some of the Q and A stuff. Uh, talked about who I am, where I'm from, where I am. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm uh, I'm left with nothing else to talk about. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it the end of this video. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this is going to be a continuing series, so we'll have a lot of these. And, you know, if you have any questions or any comments, just uh, leave them for me, and uh, I'll answer them as, as I get them. Alright, see you guys later.